We all know how to add 2 plus 2, right? You start with 2, 3, 4, it's 4, cool. But say you want to add 3 plus 4, how in the world could you possibly figure that out? You're having a hard time figuring it out, so you want to build a machine in Minecraft to figure it out for you. But where do you start? With this stuff. And now if I place a power source next to it and activate it, it turns on! Brilliant! But how do I actually start solving math problems using redstone? With this guy. This is an OR gate, because you can give it this input, or this input, and it'll give an output. But how do we make it start solving problems? Using NOT gates. A NOT gate is a gate that gives an output which is not the input you gave it. In this case, it inverts the signal. Now we can see, if we put the NOT gate at the front of our OR gate, we get a NOR gate. A NOR gate is a NOT OR gate because you can give it either input, and the output will not be the same as either one of the inputs. Now what happens if we put a NOT gate in front of each of our inputs? Well now we have an AND gate, or rather a NAND gate, which is a NOT AND gate. The NAND gate, when you flick one lever, still giving an output. But if you flick both of them, then the output turns off. If we put our NOT gate at the beginning of each input, and then put a NOT gate at the output, now what we have is an AND gate. So when you give it one input, it doesn't turn on. But when you have both of them, then it gives an output. If we put two NOT gates at each input, then we get an OR gate. This is extremely important for our setup. If we put a block here, some redstone on it, and then these two blocks here so that, they, so that the redstone torches power the redstone, now what we have is two inputs that both go into, an, that go into both an OR gate and a NAND gate. As we can see, we flick one input, and that lamp turns on. This other input, that lamp turns on. Both inputs, and that lamp turns off. But we only want this to be an AND gate. In order to turn a NAND gate into an AND gate, we can just add a NOT gate. Because in this case, two negatives make a positive. But you can see from where I've put my NOT gate, that now this NOT gate is going to power these two NOT gates. What I've just built here is called an XOR gate. XOR can also be pronounced ZOR, but I like XOR. XOR stands for exclusive OR, which means that if I turn either one of these inputs on, it will give me an output like a normal OR gate. But if I turn on both inputs, you can see we don't get an output. That's why it's called an exclusive OR gate. You can only have exclusively one input on at a time to get an output. Exclusively two inputs just makes an AND gate. When you have an input, you can see the torches powering this redstone turn off. When both inputs are on so that neither redstone torch is powered, like so, this redstone dust is unpowered and turns off, which lets this torch turn on. This torch powers both NOT gates going into the output, which means they stay off even though both of the inputs are on. Let me demonstrate again real quickly. So this redstone torch is off, which means that this one turns on and we get an output. If we turn this redstone torch on, then this redstone torch turns off and there's no output. If we turn both of these on, then this redstone torch turns on and powers these two redstone torches and then there's no output. This is the most important part of building a redstone calculator. Without this system here, it would be extremely difficult or impossible to build cal computers and calculators in Minecraft. If you know how to count in binary, you may have already noticed that we're already functionally doing math with redstone. It's that simple. If not, let me pause for a second to teach you how to count binary. We count in base 10. This means we have to start at 0 and go up to base 9 before we have to carry. 9 plus 1? Well, that doesn't work. So we have to put the 1 next to the 9, and the 9 rolls back to a 0. And then we keep counting. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. But then how do we add 1 to 19? We need to carry the 1 
So the 1 in 19 becomes 2, and the 9 again becomes 0, and we keep going. Eventually we get to 99, but how do we add 1 to 99? We can't carry it to the 10 spot because it's already 9. So we need to carry it to 100 and the 9s become 0 again. In binary, we count the same way, except we only have 0 and 1. Well, 0 plus 1 is easy, it's 1. But how do we add 1 to 1? Well, you carry the 1 to the 10 spot, or in this case the 2 spot, and roll the 1 in the 1 spot over to a 0. Then we add one more, and we get 11. But then we want to add one more. How do we do this? Well, just like counting to 100, we roll over again and put the 1 in the 100 spot, or in this case in the 4 spot, and roll over the other two ones to 0 again. In binary, each decimal place is just the last place multiplied by 2. The 1's place can only represent 1. The next place is 1 multiplied by 2, which is 2. So 1 in this place equals 2. The next place is 2 multiplied by 2, which is 4. So 1 in this place equals 4, and it keeps going forever. 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096. Then you can just add all the places together. So 0 in the 1's place, a 1 in the 2's place, and a 0 in the 4's place, and a 1 in the 8's place. This is 2 plus 8, which is 10. So 1010 is 10 in binary. If you want to add one more, it becomes 11, or 1011. And you add one more, you get 1100. A 0 in the 1's place, a 0 in the 2's place, a 1 in the 4's place, and a 1 in the 8's place. 4 plus 8 is 12, so we know that 11 plus 1 equals 12. This XOR gate is showing us how a 1 plus 1 rolls over to 0. But how can it carry the 1 into the 2's place? If we put a redstone torch here, this torch will turn on when both inputs are on. Now if we carry this into a second output, like I've done here, we can see the 2's place lights up when both of these are on. So we can see 1 plus 1 equals 2. So now we need to add more XOR gates so we can add bigger and bigger numbers together. Make sure not to cross any redstone wires between the XOR gates. Placing a block here will prevent that from happening. I'm going to color every other input cyan and green so that we know what number we're adding to what. Just to keep things simple, this machine adds the numbers on blue to the numbers on green. So this is one added to another one. Now I have two XOR gates. I'm going to call these adders. But wait, how can I add the carried number into the number in the twos place? We need a second set of XOR gates. These XOR gates will add the answer given by the first XOR gate with the number being carried into that place. Now we can check and see if the second XOR gate needs to carry the same way we check if the first XOR gate needs to carry. If so, we can just carry through the same wire. If the first XOR gate has to carry, the second one doesn't. And if the second one does need to carry, then the first one doesn't. This way you'll never have to l worry about losing information when carrying. I'm going to make a line of adders so then we can start adding some bigger numbers to see that this really is actually adding two numbers together. Now we can see if we add 1 plus 1, we get 2. Now we can see if we add 4 plus 4, then we should get 8. Now let's go back to the problem in the beginning. So we wanted to figure out what 3 plus 4 was, right? So now we can just add 2 and 1 is 3 plus 4. Plus 4. There we go. So 2, 3, and then 4. And now we can see the input is 1 plus 2 plus 4. So 4, 5, 6, 7. So 2... So 3 plus 4 is 7, and then I can check this on my fingers. So let's see, 4 fingers, 5, 6, 7, and that seems that that is indeed correct. And we could do even bigger pro even bigger numbers. Let's go over here, let's say we want to do uh, 17, or let's say 18, minus 4, or plus 4. What is 17 plus 4? Four. Well, we have 16 was 18 plus 4. 
There we go. 16 plus 4 plus 2. So 16, 20, 22. So it seems that 18 plus 4 is 22. If you want to be able to subtract, you can just add XOR gates to just one of the numbers you're adding. Then you can give it an input so you can toggle. This way, you're basically toggling a NOT gate. So I've done a little bit of rewiring here to make sure that everything stays compact, but you can see this redstone line still goes into this input, and this one goes through this XOR gate and into this input. And so when we flick this lever, this should invert. So when we say this, when this input is off, then there's input going into here. When we turn this on, then there's no input. It's basically a toggleable NOT gate. And then we can do the same thing over here to turn the signal back to how we want it after we've run our addition calculation. So now that I've put all the labels back and everything and we've got our XOR gates, which in this case are toggleable NOT gates, we should be able to subtract, say 32 minus 16. What is it? Whoops, I forgot all these redstone torches and that was silly. So now we can see one or two minus one is one but i've also found that my carry output here is continually giving this zero which causes this lamp to always be on when we're subtracting no matter what and so um is not an issue i had planned for is not an issue i had foreseen I usually don't build my adders with this carry output. I usually just let them null out, zero, roll over, whatever. I think the best solution here is actually just a second XOR gate. So if we put this here. So why does this work to subtract? Why does reversing the input of just one of the inputs and then reversing the entire answer work for subtraction? Well, let me write it out here. Say we have a 4-bit calculator, and we want to subtract 1 from 2. So we put 1 here and reverse the 2. So now we're adding 13 to 1, which is 14. 14 is 1110, and 1 is 0001. So all the zeros need to become 1s. So we simply reverse the answer to get 0010 minus 0001 equals 0001. Here's the whole process written out. So 0010 goes to being 1101, because it's reversed. 1101 plus 0001 is 1110. 1110, when it's reversed, is 0001. And we can see that that is 2 minus 1. We get 1. And then we can try again, just to make sure. We can try 4 minus 1. So we say 4 reversed, it goes 0, 1, 0, 0 reversed is 1, 0, 1, 1. And then we can add 1 to that, so 1, 0, 1, 1 becomes 1, 1, 0, 0. And then we reverse 1, 1, 0, 0, and it becomes 0, 0, 1, 1, which if we add up is 3. And so 4 minus 1 is 3. So now at the at the flick of a few levers, you can easily solve 3 plus 4. Currently, I don't know of a good way to convert and display binary in base 10, but I'll do some experimenting, and if I find a good way to do it, you can expect I'll be doing a video on it. So subscribe, like, and comment what you think. Let me know if there's anything I missed or anything else you would like to see. Enjoy your redstone calculators, and with that, shoos!